it is Monday, February 3rd, and it's my first day of med school. I'm super, super excited. I don't have class till nine, and it's currently about quarter past six. I initially wanted to go to the gym, but I've done something to my shoulder and I can't really move my left arm very well. So I'm just gonna go on a super quick run because I don't really feel like running. Um, but I want to do something because my, I've had family over for the past week and all I've done is sit at home and eat and watch TV and chat and sleep. So I should probably do something. But yeah, let's go. I'm just gonna chug some water and then head off. So ignore the really messy bathroom behind me but my workout outfit of the day also ignore the water i kind of spilt some on myself when i was chugging the water but i've got a lululemon run top um lululemon i think it's the free to be bra it's my absolute favorite i love it so much um and then some lululemon tights yeah it's not gonna look this nice when i come back but Let's go for a run. Sorry about the horrible lighting, but I just went for a run and it's so hot already. It's like 10 past seven. Okay, I'm gonna run inside, have a super cold shower, jump out, get changed and get ready for the day because I have to head soon. I made it to the bus stop. It is so hot today. I'm so sorry about the lighting. The sun is just, it's not happening today. So it's boiling hot. Um, I've already had to wipe my face like five times because it's so sweaty and disgusting. And I was supposed to have my hair down, but it's just way too hot. I might put it down later when I actually get to uni. I just got to park. I'm going to have to walk to the bus stop now and get the bus to uni. So, um, just as I started recording, the fire alarm's going off and I don't really know what's happening, but I just finished my last class for today. It's 2 p.m. I'm sorry about the light again, but I'm heading to the bus stop and I'm probably gonna miss it because I'm talking to you guys. So I'm gonna leave and run and try and make the bus. I just heard one leave and I hope it wasn't mine. So I did make it to the bus that was a long long time ago now like it's really dark outside i had a physio appointment this afternoon i think i've done something to my ac joint at the back there the physio said i can go to the gym and work out but i just can't like do anything putting pressure on my shoulder so i just have to do lower body but that's fine so i'm gonna go tomorrow my room is a mess at the moment there's like stuff all over the ground there's stuff on my bed because i had family over visiting from malaysia and they just left this morning and they were sleeping in my room so i was sleeping on the floor of my parents room so I had to move like heaps of my stuff up so I could live just on their floor, basically. I've just packed away heaps of the clothes. I still have some more upstairs, but I might just leave that for tomorrow because I'm too lazy. We had an embryology lecture that I did not understand and I also fell asleep in. I should probably revise the embryology lecture, but also it's almost nine o'clock and can I really be bothered? So I'll finish moving everything in here. I'm just gonna go through all those bags and empty them all and make sure it's all good. I'm also sweating so much because it's so humid in here. I've just turned the air conditioning on, so hopefully that helps a little. Okay, so I just brought a whole nother load of stuff down. Um, I left all my bags there because I cannot be bothered looking through them all and sorting through that tonight. Um, my desk is a mess. I'm just gonna pack this away so I can actually lie in my bed and then I'll deal with that later. I'll deal with that later and I'll probably just go to bed to be honest. Maybe I'll try and watch a bit of the lecture. To be honest, that was really hard, but I'm glad it's over. Yeah, I'm not gonna do my lecture. I think I might go to bed really early. I do wanna read because I haven't read in a while. I might plan out what I'm gonna do tomorrow. If I wanna wake up early tomorrow, I have to have something to do 
to make me wake up that early because if I have nothing planned, I'm not going to wake up. I'm just going to lie in bed and be like, I have nothing to do anyway, so why would I wake up? So I'm going to plan what I'm going to do tomorrow morning. I think I want to vacuum my room. I also want to maybe get a bit of study done. So it's the next day now, um, Tuesday. To be honest, I did not wake up early. It's like a quarter to seven now. I woke up at around six. I was supposed to wake up at like 4.30 or five. So yeah, that didn't happen. I'm just gonna maybe straighten my hair cause it's a little annoying. And then I'm gonna pack my bags, everything like that. Maybe I can vacuum my room before I go, but I don't know. I've decided, um, sorry, my mom's doing the laundry anyway. I've decided not to vacuum my room because I still have like a mattress on my floor so I can't vacuum half the room anyway so I'm just gonna wait till the weekend when I get rid of the mattress and then I'll vacuum the whole room together I'm just gonna head off to uni now hello oh whoa I just opened the gate and my dad just got home anyway I'm about to leave for the gym I have to stop and drop off a key from one of my um, relief jobs last week. So I'm going to do that first. So I'm leaving a little bit earlier than I normally would for the gym. My shoulder's sore, so I've got my band to do my exercises before the class. And I just have to stick to mainly lower body. Today, uni was all right. It was a little boring. We had a histology prac and the lady who was in charge kept talking for like an hour and a half and the prac was only an hour and 50 minutes long so we had a 23 page worksheet to do in like 20 30 minutes which is ridiculous we went over time we didn't finish it i'm just gonna have to review that there's so much work i need to do but i might be going out again tonight so okay let's go gym done that was so bad, <laughs> but it feels good. That is done now. I also forgot a towel, so I'm going to be like on my tiptoes, trying not to touch the chair because I don't want oh, my chair to get gross. I gotta go. I'm sweating so much. I'm gonna turn the air conditioning on and drive home. Hopefully I'll be slightly less sweaty when I get home. It is way later again. Today has been really, really crazy. I got home from the gym and had a shower, had dinner, then went straight to my cousin's place. We hung out there for a while. I, yeah, I really didn't do that much work. I read through my prac notes, which was like, I guess something. And then I went upstairs, was chatting to my mum for a while. And also it's like 11.30 now and I was planning on waking up at 4.30. We'll see if that actually happens, but it probably won't. I'm just gonna read a bit of my book before I go to bed, probably just a couple pages because it's already pretty late and I wanna get to sleep. Good morning, it's Wednesday. I'm all ready to go to uni, my bag's all packed. I'm waiting for my iPad to charge because I realized I'm gonna use it quite a lot today and it's at less than 50%. I also tried to curl like do little waves in my hair and it really did not work. This side looks better than this side. Like, I don't know what all this is. I don't know how to fix it. And it's kind of stressing me out. Maybe I'll try and go fix it a little bit more before I go. I might also do my shoulder exercises before I leave. So I tried fixing it and now like the back of my head, I don't know if you can see, but the back of my head is pretty much straight and I couldn't be bothered curling it again because I screwed up the front, so why even try the back? So now I've got two hairstyles going on at once. Also, I have about 20 minutes before I leave and I don't know why, but I have the urge to clean out one of my drawers because normally I'm really slow at this stuff, so if I give myself only 20 minutes, 
I have to get it done as quick as I can. So I'm going to try to do that now before I leave. All right, look at me go. 15 minutes in and I'm pretty much done a whole draw. I'll show you guys. So I can't remember if I showed you guys a before. I decided to fold it all like this so I can sort of see everything really easily. And so here are my short tight shorts in general. And then I've got all my singlets. Um, there's a couple singlet crop tops here and extra singlets that wouldn't fit. I have t-shirt workout tops, a random pair of shorts that I couldn't find anywhere else to put. And then I've got a set, a long sleeve set, um, and another pair of tights behind there. That's pretty much it, which means I've done these two drawers. I just need to do these two. Um, they're not too... Yep, that's bad. <laughs> I've just gotten home from uni. I think it's like a quarter to four and I'm gonna head to the gym soon. I've got a lot of work to do tonight because I haven't done anything this week yet. I'm just gonna go to the gym first get that done out of the way so I can come home and then just have the rest of the night to get stuff done. So let's go do that. When I got home from the gym, I had a shower and had dinner. And after dinner, I decided to make my lunch for the next day. I had a bit of leftover diced vegetables from the previous few lunches. And I just made up some couscous mixed my vegetables in, salt, pepper, Italian herb mix and a little splash of balsamic vinegar and mixed it all together. This is actually really really delicious so if you guys want to try it please do and you will not regret it. It's a quarter to nine, still have not done any work. Our fridge door broke so we just spent like an hour and a half all trying to fix the fridge door and it's finally fixed. I cut myself up a mango and there's this like Malaysian cake that my auntie brought from Malaysia and it's kind of going off because no one's been eating it and she bought way too much. So I'm gonna have a few pieces of that while I get some work done. Hopefully I'm not up too late. So it's officially 20 past 10. I only got one lecture done, but I'm hoping to get some more done tomorrow in between my two classes. I'm gonna try go to bed as soon as possible and wake up as early as possible and get a little bit of something done in the morning, whether that be a lecture or like cleaning my room, something done. I'm just gonna head off to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm ready for uni. I've just gotten dressed. I'm gonna pack my bag, except I might do a lecture. I still have quite a bit of time. So I might do a lecture before I go. I don't know if you can hear, but it is raining so hard outside. It's been raining since about 4 a.m. So I woke up at around 4 a.m. because it started raining so hard. I'm a little bit late. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but it is so heavy. I don't want to get out of the car. It doesn't look as bad on camera, but it's actually horrible. I'm just gonna put my raincoat on and probably get my umbrella and head out. I'm gonna have to walk when I get to uni as well. <sighs> okay, maybe I should zip it up. Okay, let's go. guys will never believe I made it all the way to uni and the lecturer got stuck in traffic so they actually cancelled the 8am lecture. We just sat in the room until 9 and she came at around 10 past 9 and then today was my first day at my clinical site so I travelled to my clinical site after the lecture and just did some work until my pathology tutorial at 12.30. This is me finally writing out the notes for that embryology lecture I've been talking about for the past three days. It took forever because it was really difficult and there was a lot of content in one hour, but I finally finished it. I'm walking back to the car now. Um, I ended up staying at the 
um, clinical site just for a little bit longer to study and do some work. It has not stopped raining all day, which is actually really good. Like we really, really need the rain, but also why did it have to happen on a day that I'm so busy? Hopefully you can hear me, but I'll talk to you when I get back in the car. <laughs> I'm so wet, like my arm is wet. When I closed my umbrella, a waterfall of water just fell all over my bag. And now my bag is soaking wet. So I'm gonna head home. I was gonna go to the gym, but to be honest, I can no longer be bothered because I just hate going out in the rain. So let's drive home. I finally made it home. I feel disgusting and my jeans have been wet for like half the day. So I'm just gonna have a shower and then I can actually start getting into stuff and doing some work. It is 6 a.m. now and I am ready for uni. I haven't packed my bags because I really want to get this vlog done before I go. I think I just have to have some water before I film the vlog. It's only two minutes, so it's really short. We basically have to sit down and talk with no script or anything to practice our communication skills and speaking to people. I have dot points because we have to hand in a set of dot points that go with the video. Hopefully I can get it done in just one or two goes and hand that in. So let's get this vlog done because I don't want to worry about it on the weekend. Far out guys, it's actually really hard to film a two minute video straight and fit in everything you want to say without making a mistake or messing up because I've filmed it maybe seven times now and I've got one okay version. I tend to ramble a lot as well so I have my dot points and then I keep talking more about it and then I run out of time and it's been two and a half minutes and I still have two dot points to cover. So that was actually really hard to try and condense it into a shorter amount of time to get it within the time frame. It's 20 past six now. I think I have a good version. I might record it one more time. I didn't end up recording another version because I watched through it and it was all right. I ended up getting changed because I don't know, I just wasn't feeling like wearing a dress. Also, it's really wet today still. Um, it's not raining at the... M oh, actually, it is raining, but not super heavily. But I need to be able to wear sneakers or something to block the rain. So I just changed into this black top with these paper bag white shorts. My brother's car is actually leaking and there's heaps and heaps of water in the bottom of the car. So I'm gonna go out and see if I can help in any way, even though I'm pretty sure I won't be able to. I think the drainage is blocked because we have to park our cars outside and all the leaves and things like that get into the car. So we're going to try clear that out and hopefully it doesn't go all moldy and gross. We are back in the car. Um, it is 7.23. And I'm about to head for the bus. We got the water sorted out in the car. My brother had to sort of dry the seat and everything that was wet. And hopefully that'll be okay. He has an exam this morning. So yeah, he should actually be here somewhere. I don't know if he's driving into uni. Oh, actually, I see his car over there. So he's already left for uni, but I'm going to head out now. I brought, I have a CBL today, which is where there's a group of 10 of us and we kind of discuss cases and things like that. And that's the bulk of our learning each week. And we agreed to bring snacks for today and we're going to make a food roster for the rest of the semester. So I just brought a bag of chips to tie us through. I think others are bringing some other things. So hopefully we have enough snacks, but we did tell everyone to bring something yesterday. So hopefully they did. My nose is super, super congested. I have allergies. I haven't had allergies in so long. I used to get them all the time. But I don't know, I think I became kind of desensitized and now they're starting to come back again and it sucks. Um, my nose is blocked and I was sneezing all morning. I took an antihistamine 
and so that has helped so the sneezing stopped but my nose is still quite blocked it's also really really fresh and really nice outside and i love um, this temperature because you can wear shorts and a t-shirt and it's not too hot it's not too cold it's just like the perfect temperature so i'm gonna head out and enjoy the weather finally back i went to an event tonight and it was actually really nice it was supposed to finish at 7 but we just kept talking until 7 30 and the workers actually switched the lights off on us and we're trying to pack up the tables met some really nice people i don't know if i'll do work again tonight it's 10 30 now and i think i'm just gonna go to sleep i'm pretty tired i didn't do any work i just watched youtube i watched the newest episode of Grey's which to be honest, wasn't that great. Um, hopefully next week is better, but I'm also running out of TV shows to watch, which I know I shouldn't really start one now because next week's gonna be crazy and the workload's just gonna get more and more and more every week, but maybe I could. So this is the end of my first week of med school in Australia. It was super fun and I met so many people. I'm ready to get stuck into it next week. Study hard, work hard. A lot of exciting things are happening. So I will bring you hopefully along the next few weeks. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, and I'll see you guys next week.